welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huynh Duet Dao, and I'm speaking with... Karen Chang. And Karen and I are in Boston for DroidCon Boston, where we both are speaking. Karen, uh, where are you based, and how did you get started in Android? So I'm in San Francisco right now. Um, I actually went to school around the Bay Area, so just stayed around. Um, and I'm working at a company called June, and we're making a smart oven, which... Uh, <laughs> awesome! Yeah, so that's really cool because it's built on the Android operating system, which is how I'm working on it as an Android developer. Awesome, so you got started at work. Yeah, or um, actually I started, um, so I did a lot of Java in school like a lot of other people, so then yeah. when I started work, um, I did a lot of like back-end Java and building frameworks with Java with like Spring Framework. And then I wanted to do something more like user facing. So yeah. So I was like, oh, mobile seems like the up and coming thing. And I had an Android and I already know Java. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I started taking um, this class from CodePath. I don't know if you heard of it. Yeah, so CodePath offers like free Android classes for people who already kind of know how to program. And that's how awesome. I got started with that. Um, I did Android on at the night by myself, and then I tried to find an Android job. So and now you got one. Yeah, and, and now, now you're speaking Android. <laughs> and now you're speaking at an Android conference. Yeah, and it's crazy. You're, you're speaking on. I'm talking about app shortcuts tomorrow. Well, just in case anyone hasn't like happened to have seen uh, an application shortcut, um, where are they and what, what do they do? Yeah, so app shortcuts, a lot of people actually don't know about them. Um, but if you long click on your phone, or actually you have to be running the Android system 7.1 first. But if you long click on um, an app icon, if they already implemented it, then you would see some like shortcuts that could pop up and actions you could take that makes life a little bit easier for you. That's really awesome. It's, it's actually a really great feature. Um, I know like a lot of people when they, before we had these shortcuts, we'd end up doing like kind of like one-off like shortcuts, like as separate icons and everything. Yeah, yeah. But it's really cool now that they're integrated into mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, can you like, um, can you explain, like, is it is it really easy to do? It's, like, incredibly easy to do. Um, <laughs> there's, like, two different kinds of shortcuts. So there's, like, the static kinds, which developers can, like, define exactly what happens when you click on a shortcut. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, the dynamic kinds that can change based on code running or user actions and stuff like that. Oh, but awesome. both ways, um, the easy way to do it, it would take, like, less than five lines of code to do. So it's super simple. Um, yeah, so it's really easy to implement. <laughs> Uh, wow. Okay. So that's that's really awesome, and it's it's a really great way to pro provide more utility. So is it like are you is it like a view or is it like like stuff with intents? Like how how mm. what is like the structure I guess or the the process for creating an application shortcut really quickly? Yeah. So um, app shortcuts are based based on intents. So it's just like if you had a button on an activity and you wanted to go to an act activity, then you just create an intent to say start this activity. So app shortcuts are the exact same thing, um, but you can define them in your XML files or you can define them in your Java code. Oh, neat. Can you, mm -hmm. like, uh, how customizable are they, like, in terms of the text or even the icon and stuff? Yeah, so you could do a lot of stuff with it. You could do, like, a short text, a long text for, like, bigger phones. You could do the app icons. You could even change, like, the colors of the text. Um, oh, neat. You could do, like, the ordering of the app icons. And, yeah, it's really customizable, actually. Is there, like, a limit? Like, <laughs> is, could, could you, or could you conceivably have, like, a like, hundred? <laughs> That, that probably wouldn't be a good user experience, but do you, do you know, like, any limits or I anything? I think the limit is, like, 10, but Google recommends something like 5. All right, so there you go. Don't go yeah. too crazy, or, like, they, they, they you, you can't go too crazy. That's great. But most apps I looked at, I think they only have, like, around 2 to 3, so it's very short right now. And would you, like, so what, what would you, what do you think would make good application shortcuts? Yeah, so, like, I told my friend the other day about app shortcuts, and he was amazed about it, and then one of the things that Google Maps does is you have a shortcut that could just directly take you home. So usually what my friend did was he would go, okay, Google, okay, Google, <laughs> navigate <laughs> right. home, but yeah. now he has, like, this one click that just navigates home. So, oh, and so the home that it's using, is that, like, the home that you set? Because Google Maps allows you to set, yeah. like, a home. Yeah, oh, exactly. so it's actually kind of pulling that information yeah, yeah, exactly. and doing that. Why do you think that people aren't, do you have an idea why people aren't using application shortcuts more since they are so easy? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's uh, because mostly this new update came out in Android 7.1. So yeah. it wasn't like a big splash that came out during like um, Google I.O. It was like, oh, we have this awesome new feature that mm -hmm. people can implement. Um, so it was like just, I think it was like one page on the Google site. It was like, oh, all these new features came on 7.1. App shortcuts was one of them. And it didn't re really make too big of a splash. And I think, at least for most companies I've worked at, product managers aren't really up to um, mm -hmm. date about what kind of features Android could have. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's just like awareness of how easy it is to implement mm -hmm. and 
how how it, how it rolled out. So we should all just start like screaming at our managers. Look, like, this is really easy, and especially like if you have like an app where you could really like you know kind of make it easier for a user, you should totally do it because it sounds super easy and super fun. Yeah, exactly. Like I wish Netflix had um, app shortcuts for a lot of the actions that I took. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like maybe like my my last watch show or something. Yeah, exactly. Or like yeah, or my favorite show, go to an episode or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that would oh my gosh, that'd be so awesome because mm -hmm. yeah, it does like save like a lot of clicks, especially you know if you're having to drill down into content and things like that. That's that's a really great idea. Yeah, you should do that. <laughs> and these uh, these shortcuts can like be updated in the background, or it could be pulling from like servers. So, so the possibilities are limitless. So it's not just you're not limited to say like oh this like an intent that goes directly to an activity it can be a little bit more kind of smart and a little bit yeah more. exactly you could create the intent like dynamically like oh if the user last watched this show then make this shortcut go to this intent kind of thing oh that's really amazing so i mean this sounds like there's not really much much reason for you not to do uh, an application shortcut if there are like repeated or or kind of like kind of like um maybe guess recent type tasks that you would want your user to have quick access to that's awesome mm -hmm. common actions stuff like that things you want your users to maybe discover in your app I am really excited uh, and looking forward to your talk this week um, because I definitely, it's something that I, I know that I am really enjoying like seeing them, mm -hmm. but I haven't, yeah, I, I don't know why. There's like this kind of like little fog where we haven't quite gotten out of it and gotten into application shortcut land, <laughs> but I am looking forward to your talk and kind of getting to the happy, happy land where there's many awesome shortcuts. Yep. Um, but thank you so much, Karen. Yeah, thanks for having me. If people wanted to find you on the internet, how can they do that? Yeah, so I do have a Twitter account. Um, it's Kalren, C-A-L-R-E-N 24. <laughs> awesome, well, thank you so much, Karen. And thank you all, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.